us deep. What makes a man deep? Is it the fact that his thoughts transcend the depths of the mental capacity? Or is he utilizing the capacity of his creativity to make us think that the expectations surmount the limitations of our minds? But does that make him deep? Well, look at it like this. You can think you're deep and be as deep as the water in the broken pool of a child making you really wafer thin and puddle shallow. But you still have the nerves to still claim that you're deep. Then you have the commercial deep. See, people think these folks are deep and they'll ride the fame of the title all the way to the heaven of hype not realizing that they're caught up in the purgatory of self-indulgence and suffer from the expectation of expectation. But that doesn't mean they're not deep. Hell, you got a Nikki Gamma, an Edgar Rowe, and a Langston Ada. Three filters for the common man compiled with those who commercially lift their founders while the great one celebrates with their creativity innovates. But then we can't forget the wannabe deeps who decorate themselves like Christmas trees with colorful ornaments and eccentricities, not realizing that their beneficiaries will look back and smirk at when mama and papa try too hard to be too cool, but really look like a damn fool. And now they have the nerves to tell us what we can and shouldn't do shaping conflict after conflict because they were caught up in the conflict of trying too hard to go deep and they don't want you to repeat their mistakes but you haven't answered my question am i deep how about you flow down my shallow river which will lead you down my lake of forte and you'll levitate in my ocean of intellectual paragons, and while you sway back and forth in my liquid of innovative yet borderline psychotic thoughts, tell me if you stay afloat. That's deep.